hey guys uh, so today we going to see how to create an operator in pega so first of all there are uh, three ways that uh, you can create an operator in pega so first way is uh, let's say you have logged into using some operator and uh, just open the operator just click on this and go to operator and here you'll get to see the logged in operator details okay so first first the first option is you can just directly click on this actions click on create and it is going to ask you to enter details of the new operator this way if give it a second yeah so here you need to you'll enter the uh, uh, operator i uh, just a small description kind of a thing here or oh, let's let's say test user and give the operator id name so this is one way and other way is you can do, go to records and uh, uh, click on organization expand organization and in that just click on this operator id sorry for the background noise <laughs> okay here you can see all the operators that are uh, there in my pega application uh, pega server so just click on this create and uh, you will see the same screen that we have here in the previous step okay so this is the second method and uh, third method is just click on uh, create Okay, click on operator ID and click on create, and uh, you'll get the same screen. Okay, and first of all, give the some description about the user. I'll give test user, and I'll give the same details as a operator ID also. So, test user. Click on create and open. So while you are creating an any operator in Pega. So there are certain things you need to make it make it note. First thing is you need to give the ID. So whatever you have given the ID, that will be uh, set here, full name option, as well as the email also. Okay, that is one thing. Yeah, you can also change the email, and you can also give the phone number, title, all the things, and you can also upload the image. And this is the personal details. Now coming to the access information, like uh, what is the what are the applications that you can access. Uh, so that thing you also need to specify while creating any operator, because until unless you don't specify those access groups, um, Pega will not allow you to save or create operator ID. So for now, I'll just give you uh, some sample application. So this is the default Pega sample application and let's say if you want to give the operator uh, more than one application access so that means let's say i'll add uh, some prpc administrators okay so these are two applications and among these two applications um, once the user logs in the operator logs in so by default he should be logging into some any one application okay so that's why you need to select uh, any one access group in in these two so with if you don't select first thing is Pega won't allow if you won't select so uh, you need to you must select at least one access group so let's say you have selected this that means once you once the operator uh, test user logs in so automatically the application uh, the Pega will logs you into this application so whatever application that is mapped in this access group so automatically the test user will be uh, logging into that application okay then why we are giving this X second X group is let's say a user is trying to develop certain functionality in this application and certain functionalities in this application also so to develop to do that things he needs to have access to both the applications so that's why we give all the applications that a user has access we give all those access in the access group okay and at any point of time 
we only we we only give access to one application so we will select this so that uh, by default user logs in he will be directed to that specific application so once you have done that go to work and uh, update the organization layer all the things here so for now i'll just select default one and uh, uh, you can also give work queue you can also set the whether uh, user is available from this date to that date all those things okay, the, those are not required that you can implement with your uh, based on the application okay then we move on to security tab so here you need to update the password by default you can give whatever password i'll just give rules rules and click on submit and uh, if uh, if the user is uh, really a developer then you can uh, use this option allow rule checkout because user needs to check out and check in the rules to add the functionality to the application so you need to use this and you can also uh, create uh, like the operator can directly log in uh, into pega um, without using our uh, pr web or whatever uh, not pega so you can also use external authentication where the user will be logging in from others other uh, url and once he once he gives the username and password correct that from there the user will be redirected to our pega application that also you can do it also let's say we have given some temporary password which is uh, rules and you want the user uh, next uh, uh, you want to use the to change the password once he logs in so you can just uh, enable this option so next time the user logs in he he gives the rules password and uh, uh, once he logs in the pega will ask you ask the user to change the password okay so that uh, he can enter a new password so these are the main things so once you have set all those things you can just uh, click on save the operator will be created see now if you want to check whether the operator is created or not um, you can check from here otherwise just um, click on this operator id instance okay just click on refresh yeah as you can see we have a test user created so you can find the information who is the user created robot vinay okay guys uh, so this is how you create an operator let's just check try whether we are able to log in or not i just log in so test user password is rules yeah as we have selected um, that force user to change the password that's why it's showing uh, i'll just give the rules password and um, some 1234567812345678 i'll just click on change password that's it so the new password has been changed to One two three four five six seven eight. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope you like this video. If you like this video, you have to share, you have to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.